The great thing about photonics, it's a very new and small field, so in that sense it's a little bit like physics in the 20s, uh, and experiments and theory are still very close to each other. For example, one of the first theoretical predictions I made in photonics was uh, confirmed experimentally only six months later, and I could even, I even contributed very strongly to making, it, to making it confirmed. So this closeness between theory and experiment was very important for me personally. And moreover, because it's such a uh, new field, uh, applications are also fairly close. So that means that you can make a fundamental science discovery in photonics and only a few years later it could lead to very important applications. Photonic crystals are a good example of that. And this closeness between uh, fundamental science and applications, I find it particularly exciting, the fact that new science can lead to, uh, can enable new applications. So photons are notoriously uh, for the fact that they don't interact with each other. So uh, you can see it yourself actually. Take two lasers, like two laser pointers, and uh, cross their beam paths so they intersect. And you'll see they don't talk to each other at all. There is no interaction whatsoever. In particular, that means you cannot do any signal processing. You cannot do computing with them. Okay, now the things change in certain materials because certain materials can mediate interactions between photons. But even when you have such materials, such interactions are very, very weak, meaning that you have to have very intense laser powers in order to observe this interaction. And here is where photonic crystals come into play, because they, uh, uh, because photonic crystals enable you to mold the flow of light with unprecedented capabilities. So in particular, one of the things that you can do with them is you can squeeze all the energy of, the f of, a, f of a single photon into a tiny, tiny volume. And moreover, you can ensure that at the same time, at the same tiny volume, there is another photon present. And you can ensure that just the optimal material to mediate interaction between them is also present there. And that greatly enhances the uh, interaction between the two photons to the point where even uh, interactions between two single photons should be observable.